Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be going to Dublin and meeting a subscriber. He's got some more knives, and he gives me, he gave me some great stuff. Can't wait to show y'all that. And also, we're going to be uh, opening up two different packages from two different knife makers. They made these knives, and they're donating them to the auction. So I can't wait to show y'all these knives. But uh, anyway, guys, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. And I hope you enjoy the video. The locks are missing on them. Oh my God, man. I used it in my display and my, I can't find the key to fit that. So you have to drill that. I out. have a Smith and Wet. You yeah, seen it, didn't you? When you bought it, oh my God, side. man. Are you giving me that? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. So much. May, it, my key might fit this one, you reckon? I think I think I might have it in the truck. A little work done to Look it. at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, sir. I know you love Victoria Knox. Can's a little rusty. Oh my God, dude, it's so nice. Little case. Oh my tool. God. Check that out, y'all. If y'all remember, remember Mr. Warren, he met me up there at uh, Hello, everybody. at the uh, Georgia Bushcraft event, and he's the first one that, that gave me knives, and and he started something that uh, mm -hmm. I, I I just cannot o overcome. Y'all excuse me, but I've just had some teeth worked on, so that's why my mouth is numb. So I'll be slurring some, but Mr. Warren, this is so nice, buddy, so nice. Here's some toothpicks and tweezers for you. Oh man. Uh, Check that out, y'all. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know if this is the box for this knife. It's it might be. Timer. It needs some work. Yes, sir. So That's we'll, a lock blade, ain't we'll, it? We'll, I have never seen one that small with a lock blade, but I hadn't either. I like that little lock blade. I've never seen one with a lock blade that small it needs some work it doesn't have any snap to it that's all right those are too old i don't know what they are yes sir I mean, let me see can't quite make it out it's ideal watch this is a zippo oh man very cool you're so kind, man. Yeah. That's an old one, isn't it? Made in, in USA, what it said. That's very cool, what buddy. What they call that design, the coffin design or something? Something like that. I, I have to look it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Man, that's a scrimshaw. Yep, very cool. Oh, my God, dude. Are you serious? Look at that sheath. Dude. It's old. It's Mr. Warren. I know you love bears. I do, man. I do. I love the outdoors. The, oh, my God. The bear on it the, the that is so awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I can't wait to clean this one up. So this makes three scrimshaws now I have of bears. Thank you so much, man. You know what year it is? Does it have a year? It uh, looks old. It's old. I've had it for 20 years, probably. Check that out, y'all. I had some more of Ain't that beautiful? In that series, but I sold them on eBay. You did? And this one never did sell, so I guess it was meant for me I, to have it. <laughs> I guess so, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Warren. I can never repay you enough, man. Uh, just enjoying your videos. But that is so beautiful, man. Thank you so much, Mr. Warren. See if that key will fit, fit the back of that thing. He's giving me his display case too. I can't believe it. No, that don't fit that one. That don't? Mm. I was hoping it would be the same one. Check this sheath out, y'all. Awesome, awesome work. Beautiful, man. Never been worn. Wow. I'm in awe, man. Thank, 
Thank you so much, buddy. Beautiful. Yeah, I was looking on eBay the other day, and they're selling anywhere from 150 to Wow, wow. Yeah, I'll never get rid of that one. Never, 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 never. That is beautiful, man. Thank you so much. I love that Coca-Cola case, man. Look at this. Got Coca-Cola on the for the shield, and that is a. Uh, don't want to lie. Get these confused. Yeah, so one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a 2003. Oh, I see the date now. Yes, sir. An 03. Oh, awesome. Giving me this leather case sheath too. I have a fin that I had one that was custom made, but now this is an original one. This, but I can't thank you enough, man. Can't thank you enough, for real. I've got some more if I can ever find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it, man, so much. No, man, we'll, next well, time I, I come road, up here. I love making roads. Okay, shows. yes, sir. Yeah, I'd like to go to the uh, bear and sun up in Alabama. Oh, right I know. It's either the Thursday or the week before Thanksgiving or the week after they have a big uh, sale. I heard about that. But thank you again, but buddy. I appreciate it so much. And I love it, that display case. That's going to go good with my other one. I'm I'm in the uh, process now of, of, of starting to plan my new my knife shop. I'm moving over to the other one. Is it, I'm really going to keep the the, the, uh, the machinery and where it's at. But I'm going to put some more in the other one and make it like a, um, a knife collection place. You know, because I have so many knives, man. So many knives. I've still probably got over a hundred. Uh huh. That's cool, man. Very cool. But I've never seen one that small with a lock blade. Never have. No, you don't. You like USA made knives. I do. That's a Japan made. Well, I like Japan too now. It's a little lock black back called the Squire. That's pretty. It's got the scissors. Uh -oh. I got that one at an auction, it and another knife for five dollars. That's pretty cool, man. Very cool. What's the name brand? Does it say? It says Explorer 440 Stainless Japan. I don't oh, have cool. a brand name on it. Yeah, they they make good knives too over there now. It's just a nice little knife to carry in your It pocket. is. Your EDC. But I love that right there. I'm gonna have to I know a locksmith and we can he'll be up there. I'm just taking a drill and drill them out sometimes. Here's my custom Spitfire from Buck. Now that is, I love that knife, really do. Yeah, I like Buck's. I've got yeah. Mostly what all I've got left now as far as collectors. Yeah, but. yes, sir. But I love that Spitfire right there. This one, I appreciate it so much, man. I really do. Anytime, I really man. do, buddy. Anytime. I really appreciate your support to the chat channel. I really do, man. And and again, you're the one that, that got it started, I believe. You, we met at the, the Bushcraft event, and you gave me some good knives. Really good knives, man. Really good knives. But thank you. I appreciate everything you do for the community and your faith. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. I really do. But thank you again, man. You're welcome. So much. All right. I want to thank Mr. Warren Lindsey from Dublin, Georgia. 97 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Mr. Warren, buddy, I appreciate those knives, buddy. I appreciate everything you've done to support the channel. God bless you, buddy. Okay, guys, this one here is from Mr. John Gilmore from Baldwin, Georgia. And this one here is from uh, Gordon Hamby, all the way from Midland, Georgia. They both make knives, and we're going to be opening them up. And I'm also going to be showing you two case knives I bought from Deep South Cutlery. Uh, the, the last auction, they have auctions on Thursday nights. These are the guys there. Y'all check them out, Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors. If you want to order something, call that number or go on the auction. Every Thursday night, 6 p.m. Central Time. The first, guys, I'm going to be showing you the case knives I bought. We'll get to these in one second. This here, right here, guys is a uh, Harvest Orange Bone Peach Seed Jig Sodbuster Jr. Pattern number 6137, stainless steel. This thing is beautiful. 
check this out. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? I had to get it, guys. And I paid $85 for it. I did. It will never be used by me. It's going to go in my knife collection. Ain't that beautiful? I just had to get it. I love these uh, bone side busters. There's just something about them. They're beautiful. They really are. But it is a beautiful knife. But again, I bought this over on Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors last Thursday night. And I got it Monday, yesterday. So it was Thursday night when I bought it. They had to ship it out on Friday. And it was already here Monday. That's what I'm saying, guys. They have lightning fast shipping over there. And it's fun. Now, this one here is a longhouse. It just come out. It's got green canvas micarta handle. And it's got that uh, CPM 20 CV steel. It's uh, That holds the blade retention real good, the sharpness. And it uh, and corrosion resistant. It will, it will rust. But check this thing out, y'all. It's got a pocket clip, canvas micarta handles. Now, online, they're selling these things for 189 bucks at case. But I got it at the auction, guys, for 150 bucks. And it's got this little flipper right there. See that? See that blade right there? Ain't it awesome? See it right there? Lone House CPM 20 CV steel. So it's got aluminum frames, canvas micarta handles pocket clip and it's just an awesome and it's got a liner lock very cool in it it's sharp too now awesome so we're going to put that back up i just wanted to show you all that it's pretty cool ain't it but again guys y'all check out Deep South Cutlery and Outdoors for the auctions. And go over on their YouTube channel. They have great stuff. They do a preview. Again, they do a preview of every auction on Wednesdays. So, And they just did a video today of how they laser engrave their, uh, their knives. So y'all check that out. Okay, now guys, we're going to be opening up a package all the way from... Baldwin, Georgia, from Mr. John Gilmore. He, he handmade this knife, and this knife is going to be going into the auction for Tunnels to Towers. Hello, Knife Doctor. Here is the knife I forged that I contacted you about donating to the Tunnels to Tower auction. The blade was forged from 1095 steel with an antler handle and pewter bolster. This is the first knife I made in this backwood style. My wife made the leather sheath for it. It is 7 to 8 ounce veg tan leather. I had not figured out a maker's mark tank stamp at that time. I made this on my work. can be seen at JK Forge on Facebook. Y'all go check him out. JK Forge on Facebook. I hope this does well in your auction. And thank you for your service. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, John. Miss, Miss Kristen. John and Christian Gilmore. JK Forge on Facebook. Well, John and Miss, Miss Christian, I appreciate this so much. I cannot wait to see it. I, I've already seen it in a picture, but I cannot wait to hold it. But thank you so much for, for this, y'all. Very nice of y'all to, to make this knife and and uh, donate it to the, the auction. Uh, it is so nice of y'all. Ooh, boy, look at that. That is beautiful work. The leather work, check that out. Man, that is beautiful. Ain't it? Man, I love that. That is beautiful, Miss Kristen. And here. Whoa. Check that out, y'all. Ain't that beautiful? Yeah, it's sharp. Mm. How about that, y'all? Beautiful, ain't it? I love that right there. Love it, man. John, you did an excellent job on this knife. 
Man, I love that. It fits in your hand really good. I love that. Man. Beautiful work. Got brass pins here, y'all. Check that out. JK Forge on Facebook. Y'all check them out. He don't him and Miss Kristen. Miss Kristen made this leather sheath. And he made this knife here. That is beautiful work, y'all. I love it. I really do. Awesome work, man. Again, this will be on Tunnels for Towers. Uh, Sunday night on the auction. And we're probably up to uh, almost 30 items now. So, very nice. Very nice. All right. Thank you again, Miss, Mr. John and Miss Kristen. Appreciate this so much. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Mr. John and Miss Kristen sent that knife all the way from Baldwin, Georgia. 195 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Mr. John, Miss Kristen, thank y'all for the handmade knife and leather sheath. Thank y'all so much. Appreciate you supporting the channel and Tunnels for Towers. God bless y'all. And here is the stuff that Mr. Gordon Hamby sent. He sent us a he sent us a muskrat. This is the stuff that he sent. This is his contact information. If y'all want to screenshot that. He's got a YouTube channel now. He's the one that did my handles for the bolo knife and made it razor sharp. But this is the knife he made, guys. The muskrat is 1084 high carbon steel. Length is two and a half inches. The blade is. And it's... The handle is orange corian, and that's his, his signature. This will come along with the blade, uh, and it tells you just how to take care of it right here. Ain't that awesome? Appreciate that, Gordon. Let's look at this stuff first. He gave us some more uh, blade wax to give away. Ain't that awesome? I'll be giving away... This stuff on April the 15th, the blade wax. There's a note from Mr. Gordon. Hey, Doc. Thank you for your channel. I look forward to watching your videos. I can't wait until the next time you come to my shop for an awesome project. I'm including a donation knife for your upcoming auction. I will include blade wax sticker and business cards for you for the winter. I am also including a knife that was given to me by my son years ago tree brand what would you charge me to clean it up nothing buddy i ain't charge you a dime i was i was i will also include a surprise for you to do whatever you like with the smallest knife thanks brother gordon aka hambone well gordon buddy you know i ain't gonna charge you a dime man i can't do do that when you donate a a very nice knife like that man uh, it'll be my pleasure to clean this knife up for you. Let's check this knife out. This is the one he wants me to clean up for him. Wow, that's a Congress. Look at that, y'all. This thing, I can already tell it. It's going to clean up good now. Can't wait to clean this one up. This is a big old Congress. Boker Tree Brand. Look at that blade. Touch that blade up, too. Give it a little tip right there. This is awesome, man. I love this Congress. I'm trying to see where it was made, either Germany or USA. There it is. No, Boca USA. So we're going to clean this up for him here in a video coming soon. Yes, we are. Let's look at the surprise he's talking about. Oh, boy. A little case, I think. Yeah, I think he told me a case. How about that? That's an 80s model. And that's, a, whoa, that's like, like a 10 dot. One, two. One, two. It is a 10 dot. This is a 1980 uh, bone handle or stag handle. Ain't that cool? I love this. What pattern is this right here? 5120R. 
5120R. Let's look that up in my book. Okay, it's a 5120R. It's right here. And this one don't have a shield. See, there's no shield. This one right here is 5120R SSP. Dots 1980 stag, no shield. In, in, in 2008, if it was in mid condition, it would have been worth 65 bucks. So it's a good 65 to $90 knife now. It is. But look at that. Ain't, it, it really ain't hurt a bit, guys. I'm going to clean this up. I love this knife. Yeah. This is a keeper right here, guys. All day long. This is. It's got a bell on it. This very cool knife. I love them little stag handles. Gordon, I appreciate this so much, man. Check that out, y'all. It's sharp, too. Don't look like it's really been used that much. This thing's going to clean up really good. I'm going to clean this knife up and the, the Boca Tree brand up at the same time. It's going to be a fun little day out here in the knife shop. Put my book up, guys. Hang on. Okay. and uh, I'm going to be giving some stickers away with uh, with the wax uh, come Monday. But all this and one sticker is going with the knife right here. All that, that is. And we're going to give the rest of the stickers away. When we give these away, I might just give give this away and a sticker away when I give some knives away. So, uh, but now, so now we're gonna uh, get to the meat of the potatoes right here. Check that out, y'all. Man, Kydex sheet. Uh, check, look, check that out. And I, that is so awesome. And you can reverse it. You can wear it on your left hip or your right hip. But man, check that out. That's his Maker's Mark right there. I absolutely love his Maker's Mark. It's so cool. Check that out, y'all. It's razor sharp now. I mean razor sharp. You ain't got to worry about that not cutting something. But ain't that nice, y'all? Orange Corian. And the steel is... Let me look at it again. Steel is 1084 high carbon. Ain't that awesome, man? But this is going into auction, y'all. Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Kydex sheath. Ain't that awesome? It's going to be fun, y'all. I want to thank Mr. Gordon Hamby from Midland, Georgia for sending that handmade knife in for the Tunnels to Towers auction 45 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Gordon, appreciate everything that you've done, buddy, to support the channel. Appreciate you supporting Tunnels of Towers, buddy. God bless you. And these guys are going to start out at like 150 each. So just letting y'all know. Uh, it's handmade. You will not find this in stores. They're both very unique. Both handmade. So each of these will start at 150 the bidding. And they sell. They sell for more than 200 bucks sometimes. So. Uh, but 150 is the minimum bid on these. Uh, remember, it's going for tunnels to towers, and uh, we're gonna try to get what what we can uh, for for the first responders and veterans. So, well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had a blast. I got to meet Mr. Warren Lindsay again. He's such a nice man. I swear he is. And I appreciate all the gifts, Mr. Warren. If you, you're watching, I know you are. I appreciate it again, buddy. And we'll meet again sometime. Uh, we'll have lunch up there. Um, but thank you again so much for all the gifts. And I hope you don't mind, buddy. But I'm going to go ahead and add this to the auction. I'm going to wipe it down with, with Never Dull. But it's a Coca-Cola. If y'all see that uh, Coca-Cola shield on this case knife, it's a toothpick. I'm going to add this to the auction to Tunnels and Towers. I hope you don't mind, Warren. Uh, but I think it'll do well. It's a Coca-Cola. It's got the Coca-Cola tin. And it's a case knife, you can see. And it's even got cocoa on the shield. So it's a very nice knife. Uh, again, guys, I want to beat what we uh, sent them the last time. So I'm trying to get some good stuff in there. I really am. Uh, but this ought to do well. I'm going to wipe it down with, with, with a never dull. I'm going to put it right back in the tin. It's going to come just like this. But uh, I want to thank you again, uh, Warren. And also, I want to thank uh, 
John and Miss Kristen for this beautiful knife here. Uh, the leather sheath is amazing. And you can see the, the stitching on that is just absolutely gorgeous. And the design of that sheath, beautiful. And this knife, guys, check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ain't it? I love that knife. Love it. I appreciate it, John and Miss Kristen, for that knife. It's beautiful. And I just want to thank you all for donating that. And I also want to thank Mr. Uh, Gordon Hamby for sending me this knife. This knife is awesome and beautiful. Kydex sheath. It's got 1084 high carbon steel in it. It's called a muskrat. The handles are orange Corian. And it's just a beautiful knife. Great little skinner. It really is. And again, that little maker's mark he's got is just absolutely awesome right there. Love it. Razor sharp. Razor sharp. But he's got a YouTube channel. Y'all check him out on Hambone Blades on YouTube. And also check out uh, JK Forge on Facebook. I think that's what it's called. Let me make sure. Uh, JK Forge on Facebook. For the, that's John and Miss Kristen's Facebook page where they make the knives. I just want to thank y'all and uh, just want to thank everybody. Thank everyone that's, that's sending me these uh, items to donate to the auction. It's going to be a fun auction, y'all. It's going to be fun. I can't wait to do it. But again, it's going to be Sunday night, 7 p.m. We're going live on whatnot. The uh, link to the auction will be down below in the, the description. All you got to do is click on it. Go over there and do what you need to do to get registered to sign up to uh be able to be it so it's gonna be fun you should be able to start uh seeing some items come out wednesday evening and then the rest of it should be in there on thursday evening so i just want to thank y'all again for everything i just want to thank all my subscribers just want to thank everyone for everything that y'all do it's not what i do guys again it's what y'all do y'all the one that makes my channel and i just want to say god bless y'all and until me again guys Y'all be like a good man. Stay safe.